ಜಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪದ ಪನಮಹಂಸ ಪ್ರೈರಜಾರ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೋದಸತ್ತ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಮ ಹೀಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಭಕ್ತ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಶಿರ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಂ ಫಾಂತಾರ್ಯ ಹೀಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಭಕ್ತ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಶಿರ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪದ ಪನಮಹಂಸ ಪ್ರೈರಜಾರ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೋದಸತ್ತ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಮ ಹೀಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಶಿರ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಅನಂತ ಕೋತಿ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಬಿಂಡ ಕಿ ಜಯ ನಾಮಚಾರ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಹರಿರಸ್ಥಾಕು ಕಿ ಜಯ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಕಾ ಹೋ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭೋ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾತ್ ವೈದಗಧಾತ್ರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋ ಗೋಪಿನಾಂ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಕುಂ ರಾಧ ಕುಂ ಗಿರಿ ಗೋವದಾಂ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ವೃಂದಾವನ್ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾಯಪು ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಕ್ನಪುರಿ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಗಂಗಮಾಯಿ ಚಮೂನಮಾಯಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಭಕ್ತಿ ದೇವಿ ತ್ರೂಸಿ ದೇವಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಸಾಮವೇದ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಸಾರ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಸಂಕೇತ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ ಯು ಥೋ ಗದಾಂ ಕಿ ಜಯ ನಿಥಾಯ್ ಗೌಡ ಪ್ರಮನಂದಿ ಹರಿ ಭರಿ ಭೋ ಅಕ್ರರಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಸಂಭೋರಿ ಬೋರಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಕ್ರರಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಸಂಭೋರಿ ಬೋರಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಕ್ರರಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಸಂಭೋರಿ ಬೋರಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಕ್ರರಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೌರು ಎಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೌರಾಂಗ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಾತ್ವಚಾಯಂ ಉತಿಟ್ರಯೇತ್ ನಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಯೇಶ್ವದೃಶು ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಗವತ ಸೇವಯ ಭಗವದ್ಯುತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ನೈಷ್ಟಿಕಿ ಸೊ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮ ಭಾಗವತ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟಲ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಚಿತ್ ಪುರಾಣೋ ಪುರುಷೋ ಸ್ವನಾಭ್ಯ ಪಾತ್ಮಾನುರಿ ಕೀಲಾವತಿ ಆಸತ ಊವ್ಯ ಕುಶಲ ವಿಧಾಯ ಕೃತ ಶನೋ ಕುಶಲ ಸುರ ಗೆಹೆ ಕಚಿ ಪುರಾಣೋ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ಸ್ವಾನಭ್ಯ ಪತಾಮರು ಪತಾಮರುತ್ಥಿತೆ ಅಪತಾಮರುಥೇಹ ಕಿರವಾತಿ ಅಸಾತ ಅಸಾತ ಊವ್ಯ ಕುಶಲ ವಿಧಾಯ ಕೃತಾಶನೋ ಕೃತಾಶನೋ ಕುಶಲ ಸುರಗೆಹೆ ಕಚಿ ಪುರಾಣೋ ಪುರುಷ ಸ್ವಾನಭ್ಯ ಪತ್ಮ ಪತ್ಮಾನುವೃತ್ಯ ಕೀಲಾವತಿ ಅಸತ್ತ ಊವ್ಯ ಕುಶಲ ವಿಧಾಯ ಕೃತಾಶನೋ ಕುಶಲ ಸುರಗೆಹೆ ಕಚಿ ಪುರಾಣೋ ಪುರುಷೋ ಸು ಸ್ವಾನಭ್ಯ ಪತ್ಮಾನುವೃತ್ಯ ಕಿಲ ಬಾತಿ 
असाथ उव्य कुशन विदाय कृताशनो कुशन सुरागे कचित ब्रदर पुराणो डी ओरिजिनल पुरुषो पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड कृष्णा एम्बारनम स्वानाभ्या ब्रह्मा पात्मा अनुरित्या by the request of the one who is born from the lotus iha here kila certainly avatino incarnated asat asate a uvyaha in the world kusha or oh, in the world huh? kushalam well being vidaya for doing so krita shano the elevators of everyone's prosperity kushalam oh well suragehe in the house of shurasena translation and purport by his divine grace ac bhaktivedanta swami shri prabhupada translation 
Please tell me whether the original personality of Godhead, who incarnated themselves at the request of Brahma, who is born out of the lotus flower from the Lord, and who have increased the prosperity of the world by elevating everyone, are doing well in the house of Shurasena. So this is Vidura's continue speaking with uh, Maitreya Muni, uh, uh, actually Uddhava, right? Purport, Lord Krishna and Balaram are not two different personalities of Godhead. God is one without a second, but he expands himself in many forms without their being separate, separate from one another. They are, all, uh, they are all plenary expansions. The immediate expansion of Lord Krishna is Bharati, and Brahma, born from the lotus flower from Gavadakshayi Vishnu, is an, is an expansion of Balade. This indicates that Krishna and Balade are not subjected to the regulations of the universe. On the contrary, the whole universe is under their subjugation. They appeared at the request of Brahma to liberate the burden of the world. And they relieved the world by many superhuman activities so that everyone became happy and prosperous. Without the grace of the Lord, no one can become happy and prosperous because the happiness of the family of the Lord's devotees depends on the happiness of the Lord. Vidura first of all inquired about the well-being of the Lord. Omagyana timinanda siya genan jana shalakaya chakshu uminitan yena tasmai shri gurave namaha. Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtan stapidan yena budare swayan lupa kadamahyan tadati swam padantikam. Vandehan shri guru shri yuta padakamanam shri guru vaishnamams cha. Shri Rupan Sakrachatan Sahagana Lakunata Vitam Tam Sajivam Satvaitan Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Radita Shri Vishakam Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dinna Bandhu Jagapate Gopesha Gopika Kanda Radha Kanda Namastude Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavan Nishwari Vishabhanu Strute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchaka Pataru Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyevacha Patitana Bhavanevyo Vaishvanevyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atveda Gadhatra Shri Vasade Gora Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Kachi Purano Purusho Swanabhya Patma Nuriteha Kiravati No Asata Uvyaha Kushanam Vidaya Kritashano Kushanam Suregehe. Translation again. Uh, please tell me whether the original personality of Godhead who incarnated themselves at the request of Brahma, who is born out of the lotus flower from the Lord, and who have increased the prosperity of the world by elevating early one, are doing well in the house of Shurasena. So in the purport, uh, Shura Prabhupada, he said that without the grace of the Lord, no one can become happy and prosperous. So it reminds me a few verses in the first canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, in the prayers uh, by Queen Quinti to Lord Krishna. So Queen Quinti, she was praying to Lord Krishna saying, Kevayan, uh, kevayan nama rupabhyam yadubhya saha 
फांडवा बाबतो दाशनाम या थी या ही हाँ डिशिक डिशिकानम इवेशितु क्विंक्विंडी शी वाज प्रेइंग टू लॉर्ड कृष्णा सेइंग एस अ नेम एंड फेम ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर बॉडी इज फिनिश्ड विद द डिसअपीयरेंस ऑफ द लिविंग स्पिरिट सिमिलरली If you do not look upon us, all our fame and activities, along with the Pandavas and the Yadus, will end at once. Then Queen Kunti she again said that Neyang Shobhi Shate Tacha Yate Ah. Yata dhani gadhadara. Tapadai ankita bhati sva lakshana vilakshitai. Queen Kundi said, O gadhadara Krishna, our kingdom is now being marked by the impression of your lotus feet, and therefore it appears beautiful. But when you leave, it will no longer be so. And then Queen Quinty, she continued praying to the Lord, saying, Ime jana pata sridha supak vashadi viruda vanadri nadi utavanto he a Dante Tava Vishitai. She said, All these cities and villages are flourishing in all respects because the herbs and grains are in, uh, are in, are in abundance. The trees are full of fruits, the rivers are flowing, the hills are full of minerals, and the ocean full of wealth. And this is all due to your glancing over them. Shri Prabhupada wrote a very beautiful purport, uh, especially to this last verse I have just read. Let's take a look at what Shri Prabhupada said in the purport. Prabhupada, Prabhupada he said, human prosperity flourishes by natural gifts, not by gigantic industrial enterprises. The gigantic uh, industrial enterprises are products of a godly civilization. And they cause the destruction of the noble aims of human life. The more we go on increasing such troublesome industries to squeeze out the vital energy of the human being, the more there will be unrest and dissatisfaction of the people in general. Although a few only can live uh, lavishly by exploitation. The natural gifts such as grains and vegetables, fruits, rivers, the hills of jewels and minerals, and the seas full of pearls are supplied by the order of the Supreme. And as he desires, material nature produces them in abundance or restricts them at, the, at times. The natural, uh, the natural law is that the human being may take advantage of these godly gifts by nature and satisfactorily flourish on them without being captivated by the exploitative motive of lording it over material nature. The more we attempt to exploit material nature according to our winds of enjoyment, the more we shall become entrapped by the reactions of such exploitative attempts. If we have sufficient grains, fruits, vegetables, and herbs, then what is the 
uh, necessity of running a slaughterhouse and killing poor animals. A man need not kill an animal if he has sufficient grains and vegetables to eat. The flow of river waters fertilizes the fields and there is more than what we need. Minerals are produced in the hills and the, and the jewels in the ocean. If the human civilization has sufficient grains, minerals, jewels, water, milk, etc., then why should it hunker after terrible industrial enterprises at the cost of the labor of some unfortunate man? But all these natural gifts are dependent on the mercy of the Lord. What we need, therefore, is to be obedient to the laws of the Lord and achieve the perfection of human life by devotional service. The indication by Queen Quinty are just to the point. She desires that God's mercy be bestowed upon them so that natural prosperity be maintained by his grace. So this is exactly what Sri Prabhupada he said here in today's purport, that without the grace of the Lord, no one can become happy and prosperous. So it reminds me uh, quite a few stories in the Krishna book. Uh, there was one time, there's a fruit vendor. She came to sell some of her fruit in Mandavan. And Krishna came, you know, with a handful of grains. In those days, you know, there's no paper bill, you know, to buy things. It's a, you know, you have to trade with, uh, you have to trade with the, uh, you know, certain object, products. <laughs> it's, it's like that, you know. So, Krishna, although Krishna was only a small boy, but she, he knows that because he probably seen, you know, Madhya Yashoda and Nandamaraj was, they, they, they were doing like that. So he came with a handful of the grains, tried to trade with their fruit vendors some fruits. And, she, and he had the fruit vendors the grains Although it's only little bit uh, grains, but the fruit vendor gave him a lot of fruits. And Krishna was pleased by the service of the fruit vendor. And immediately, you know, all the fruits in her, bas in her basket turned to into valuable gold and jewelries. You see? And also, uh, there's a nice story about... Uh, uh, Sudama Vipra in the Krishna book. We know that Sudama Vipra, he is actually a, a, a good friend of Lord Krishna at the Guruku. And then, after he graduated from Guruku, you know, Sudama Vipra became a householder. But he kept you know, this service to Lord Krishna without, without, without stop. But, uh, you know, he became very poor. And at the request of his wife, uh, Sudama came to uh, see Lord Krishna in Dwarka. And they had very nice, friendly talks. Actually, they had, Rabbi said, Lord Krishna engaged for a long time in talking with uh, Sudama Vipra about their past association. And then, after talking, uh, Krishna began to smile and ask, uh, My dear friend, uh, what have you brought for me? Uh, has your wife 
giving you some nice eatables for me? Yeah, because you know, when you see when you go and see some friends, naturally you will bring some gift. Yeah. So Krishna is asking uh, uh, Sudama Vipra what he has brought for him. Yeah. While addressing his friend, Lord Krishna looked upon him and smiled with great love. Uh, he continued, My dear friend, you must have brought uh, some presentation for me from your home. Yeah. And, then Lord, and then, you know, Sudama Vipra, he's, he was very hesitant. Because what he because he was so poor that his wife gave him only uh, a little bit chipped rice, you know. <laughs> so he's feeling really ashamed to, you know, present to Lord Krishna like that, you know. And we all know that Krishna is Paramatma, super so situated in everyone's heart. He understands the situation of uh, Sudama Vipra. So he said, you know, Lord Krishna, can you say, my dear friend, I'm certainly not in need of anything, but if my devotee give me something as an offering of love, even though it may be very insignificant, I accept it with great pleasure. On the other hand, if a person is not a devotee, even though he may offer me very valuable things, I do not like to accept them. I actually accepted only things offered to me in devotion and love. That's exactly the verse in the Bhagavad Gita. Pacham pushpam fananto yam yome bhakti prayachati. Tattaham bhakti uparitam ashnami praya tatmanaha. Krishna tells Arjuna, if one offers, uh, offers, me, offers to me uh, a fruit, a leaf, or some water, with love and devotion, I will accept it. So Krishna confirmed his teachings here in the Bhagavad Gita, right? So I actually accept only things uh, offered to me in devotion and love. Otherwise, however valuable a thing may be, I do not accept it. If my pure devotee offers me even the most insignificant things, a little flower, a little piece of leaf, a little water, but satura uh, satura uh, saturates the offering in, devotion, in devotional love, then not only do I gladly accept such an offering, but I eat it with great pleasure. See? So that's what we need, love and devotion in the offerings. So Lord Krishna assured Sudama Vipra that he would be very glad to accept the chipped rice he had brought from home. Yet out, yet out of great shyness, Sudama Vipra hesitated uh, to present it to the Lord. Yeah. So in the mind, Sudama Vipra, he was thinking, how can I offer such an insignif insignificant thing to Krishna? And Sudama Vipra, he simply uh, bowed his head, you know. <laughs> yeah. So we all know that Krishna is super so Paramatma in everyone's heart. So he knows everyone's determination and, and everyone's want. He knew, therefore, the reason for Sudama Vipra's coming to him. And he knew that, driven by the extreme poverty, he had come there at the request of his wife. So thinking of Sudama as, he, as his very dear uh, class friend, he knew that Sudama's love for him as a friend was never tainted by any desire for material benefit. Krishna, Krishna thought, Sudama has come to ask uh, uh, Sudama had not come asking anything from me, being obliged by the request of his wife. He has come to see me just to please her. Lord Krishna therefore decided that he would give more material op opulence to Sudama Vipra, 
that could be imagined even by the king of heaven. And then we all know that, you know, at this point, Krishna, he snatched uh, the bundle of the chief rice, which was hanging on the shoulder of the poor Brahmana. And then he uh, took some of the chief rice and ate it. And then uh, Krishna wants to eat more, <laughs> but uh, Lukmini Devi stopped her. <laughs> Yeah, Rukmini Devi stopped her, you know. Yeah, and then we all know that actually Rukmini said, my dear Lord, uh, this one morsel of the chipped rice is sufficient to cause him who offered, to, who offered it to become very opulent in this life and to continue his opulence in the next life. My Lord, you are so kind to your devotee that even this one morsel of chipped rice pleases you very greatly. And your pleasure assures uh, the devotee opulence in both this life and the next and the next. See, that's, uh, that's why, you know, Shura Prabhupada, he's, uh, he said in today's verse that we, you know, the devotees, uh, they should completely depend on the mercy of, uh, of Krishna, you know. Actually, the actual words is, without the grace of the Lord, no one can become happy and prosperous. And then we all know that uh, Sudama Vipra, he left uh, Lord Krishna's palace and he went, went back to his home. And upon arriving his home, so he saw a big change of his home. And let's take a look of the, uh, uh, what change had happened to, uh, to his home, huh? Thinking in this way, the learned Brahmana gradually reached his own home, but there he saw that everything was wonderfully changed. He saw that in the place of his cottage, there were big palaces made of valuable stones and jewels glittering like the sun, moon, and rays of fire. Not only were there big palaces, but at intervals, there were, beautiful, uh, there were beautifully decorated parks in which many beautiful men and women were strolling. In those parks, there were nice lakes full of lotus flowers and beautiful, and beautiful deities, and there were flocks of multicolored birds. Seeing the wonderful uh, conversion of his native place, the Brahmana began to think to himself, how am I seeing all this change? Does this palace belong to me or to someone else? If it is the same place where I used to live, then how has it so wonderfully changed? And then, you know, while Sudama Vipra, he was thinking in this way, a group of beautiful men and women with uh, Features resembling those of the demigods, accompanied by musical chanters, approach to welcome him. All were seen auspicious songs. The wife of the Brahmana was very glad to hear, uh, on hearing uh, the tidings of her husband's arrival, and with great haste she came out of the palace. The Brahmana's wife appeared so beautiful that it seems as if uh, the goddess of fortune herself had come to receive him. Such a big change. It's all uh, because uh, a, lit uh, a little bit offering of the cheap rice to Lord Krishna. 
That's really amazing. So that's why Shri Prabhupada, he was saying in today's verse, uh, only by the mercy of Lord Krishna that one can become happy and prosperous. Yeah. So I just stop here. Are there any questions or comments? Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Gantraj Shima Bhagavatam ki jai. Shura Prabhupada ki jai. Gora Bhaktavinda ki jai. Thank you, Malaji. <laughs>